Hello, my friends. Well, I mixed up a bunch of colors to uh, do a swipe with, and I experimented on a piece of foam cardboard. I threw it away or I would show you, but I didn't like the way it looked, so then I had to decide what I'm going to do with these paints. They're a little on the thin side. Um, so what to do? I Then I tried a little flip cup example. I didn't like that, so I'm just going to use them on this um, pre-scraped <laughs> canvas and I'm going to put some negative space up at this end and some negative space at this end and then just combine the rest and pour it in the middle and see what happens. There's no silicone in here. I had I had some mixed up in a in a in this um, metallic, but I just hesitant to use it here, so I won't be doing that. Give me a little more. So most of that, and then this. I'm afraid to use too much of this brown. In, um, oh, and I'm using multi-purpose paints, and maybe that was the multi-surface, and maybe that was the problem. Um, it, they are different than regular acrylics. So they just behaved differently, and I didn't care for the way it looked, so... Okay, now what? Um, I'll move that around a little bit. I don't know if you can see the whole canvas, but the action will be in the middle there. All right, let's see. Um, I want to start with the light. And then maybe I'll go with the brown for contrast. Put the rest of that in there. Cobalt. I kind of have the blues, so this is an appropriate pour. <laughs> I'm feeling blah these days. Okay, and uh, what else? I'm going to use it up. All right, now, how to pour it. I think I'm, um, you know, I'm going to hit it with a torch because I see a lot of air bubbles and uh, I don't usually bother, but, um, well, I guess I'm not. Let's try the backup. Yeah, I don't usually bother, but there's a lot of bubbles in this, so I am today. This is a mix of Floetrol glue and water. I'll put the recipe down below if this, if you're watching this, if it turned out. I always put the details down below for you, the exact recipe and colors and so forth. 
ratios. All right, um, I'm just going to pour it in a figure eight all over, overlapping this blue and brown and filling up the space in the middle, and then, and then I'll tilt. So here we go. I'm just going to keep going. Oh, wait, no, changing my mind. I'm going to stretch to cover that, and then I'm going to use up the rest of it with skinny. Kind of tilt it at an angle here. Oh, it's kind of pretty. Never know. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, I see that. I didn't think the, the light was in the way today, but it is. It's right over the middle. I know there's a shadow. Oh, I don't know. How's that? There's a shadow, but um, oh well. Now what? I wonder if I should go a different direction. Would that be silly? go maybe in the um yeah that's what I'll do I'll I'll go in in these uh solid areas with a little bit of ribbony effect I don't know I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. It's kind of interesting. Let me turn it this way so you can see better. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Trying to remove my glove and I'm having difficulty. There we go. Okay. Let's see. I wonder. I, I can't imagine it's gonna hold the lines like I want it to, but maybe. There is glue in the mix. And it's very much a chocolate brown, not this, um, I mean, like dark chocolate, not milk chocolate color that it looks like through my phone. If I pull it up, you can see more the real color. Well, hmm, I don't know, it's kind of fun. I think I'm going to take a break from pouring for a while. I, I just... I'm not feeling it. <laughs> and um, while I'm gone, I hope you will maybe watch some of my other videos and enjoy those. And uh, I'll be back after I've had a little time to regroup a bit. <laughs> okay, my friends, thank you for watching. I'm, I'm sorry to be a grumbler. I'm, I really don't like that. Bye now.